Hey guys, welcome to A Glimpse Inside. I'm Chris, this is Baby B, and of course, today we're gonna make a four post structure that's going inside an ultrasound local business. This structure can be made for a bed, it could be made for an outdoor pergola, you name it, but we're gonna show you how you got this done, and of course, she's gonna join me. You ready? Let's go. Well, let's get started, guys. I went to the big box store and I picked up four eight foot long four by fours. I picked up five 10 foot long two by fours and one eight foot long two by six, all made from pine. I cut the two by six into four inch sections and make sure I put a 45 degree angle on each one. Essentially, these are gonna sit at the bottom of the four by fours, giving the four by fours a bigger foot, if you will, to rest. Once I had all the 45 degree angle pieces cut, I go ahead and install them on the bottom of the 4x4 post. There's two ways to do this. The first way is you just kind of follow yourself around, putting one in, making sure the miters line up, glue and brad nail. The second way is to line them up upside down, put some blue tape on them, and then put some glue in between the joints and then kind of fold them in on each other, making a box. And once that box is finished, you go ahead and put some brad nails in it as well, just for reinforcement while the glue dries, sand it down, and then you can essentially insert this piece onto the 4x4 post, glue it in place, and nail it down. And here I am cutting the 2x4s at a 45 degree angle. I need about 8 of these for the 45 degree angle structure supports between the posts and the actual beams at the top. Here I'm taking a chamfer bit and putting a 45 degree angle chamfer on each of these pieces. Now the purpose of this is this gives the piece a little bit of a finished look if you will it doesn't look like you got it from the store and installed it you kind of did a little bit something to it to make it look a little bit more elegant if you will I know they're just two by fours but you got to do what you got to do to make it look right I also put that 45 degree angle chamfer on the 4x4 post as well and man using a sander and a router and not cleaning up after yourself, you gotta get it done. Makes a mess. All right, now for the finish. This couldn't be simpler. This is just boiled linseed oil applied very liberally to the four by fours and the two by fours. Wipe it clean and I'll let it sit overnight. So just to give you an overview, this is exactly what you need. You need eight pieces cut at a 45 degree angle for the supports between the posts and the beams. The four posts are right there with those feet and also the beams there as well. All right, here we are the next day, Upscale Ultrasound here in Northeast Florida. If you have any ultrasound needs, if you're having a baby, you got a bun in the oven, you want to find out what you're having, this is the place to go. Again, their website will be down below. Check them out. They do awesome work. I actually enlisted the help of the shop owner here. The pieces are very cumbersome. I needed to hold them in place. She was a big help. So with a couple of clamps, no glue here, all right, because you need to take this thing down eventually, just in case you move. Uh, screws are all you need. A couple of screws in each one, and we're in business. Now that at least three pieces are installed, it's kind of holding itself up. She still helps me here, kind of keep this aligned. Again, very thankful for that. Couldn't have done it without you, Leah. Thank you. Now, this is what gives the structure its strength. These 45 degree angle brackets on the four corners do a fantastic job of giving this thing some rigidity. What I do is I install it just like this. I toenail it in, pre-drill. Make sure you do that because you'll split the wood if you don't and drive those three inch screws home. And at the top, same thing. Pre-drill, drive the screws in, and repeat that three more times. Now you're good to go. And like that, we're all finished. I do want to say one thing, guys. Make sure when you're doing client work to clean up after yourself. Always leave it better than you found it. Well, here you go. Here's my final product, at least. They're going to order drapes and curtains to drape down the sides, giving this thing a little private feel where the massage table is going to be to give women who are expecting their children a little bit of massage to keep them relaxed. Thank you, Lee, for the opportunity. I really appreciate you letting me build this for you. Thanks for joining me for this one, guys. This was a really special thing for me because the ultrasound place where we installed this was, well, she was the first baby scan there. 
when they opened the business about a year ago. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this one. I really appreciate the view. I'd invite you to subscribe to the channel if you like what we're doing here. And we'll see you on the next project. Thanks again.